All right, team, what's going on? Welcome to another YouTube video. So today's a big day. We're going to be training back here at Muscle Works. I've got some special guests I want you guys to meet. Yo. Introduce yourselves. What's your name, you man? Oh, I'm Kayan. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got, you, you guys already know this guy yeah. if you've been following me on social media, but introduce yourself anyway. Uh, my name is Danny Mangan. I'm also a fellow fitness YouTuber. My link will be in the description, won't it? Yes, yeah. his link will be in the description, maybe. No, no, no. It will be in the description. No, no, no. It will be, so come subscribe. Thanks. Subscribe, yeah. Uh, guys, we're going to be training back. Uh, we're going to start off. Today is uh, one of the days I need a stimulant based pre workout, okay? It's going to go down. So, we're upstairs in Muscle Works. We're going to head down. Dude, this dude is taking forever to pick a pre-workout. And shut up. Listen, when you train with me, yeah, you need a pre-workout. These guys can't keep up. I'm about to show you how to train. Hey. Hey, this is trippy. I keep looking over here. You meant to get the camera back. I'm already falling asleep while I'm waiting for him to pick his pre-workout. Yeah, we've been here for about... 10 seconds. 20 minutes um, while Danny picks his pre-workout. Um, and the guys at the moment don't have the pre-work I usually have, so I've got this app. You guys, if you go back a few videos from about a few years back when I did my show, I talked about uh, an app which basically tells you if a, if a certain supplement, if you can take it if you're a drug tested athlete, it's called Aegis Shield, okay? And basically you put in the name of the supplement and uh, they basically carry out uh, all their studies or research or whatever, like and it tells you if a product is banned or not. That way, you, you don't get caught out it. by taking a, you know, there's a lot of these pre-workouts you can get caught out quite easily, so we're gonna check this product here. And it says it's okay, there you go. All right, so you go on there, you put the product, and if it says okay and it tells you if anything has been mentioned, that you should be careful, so. For you guys, natty guys out there, it's definitely worth having on your phone if you're on the go. About to get started, we're going to do the one thing Danny hates the most. Okay, he's busy right now, filming, but as you guys know, I'm big on mobility, I'm big on making sure uh, we get some mobility stuff done, warm up, stretching and whatnot. One, I feel like you get the most out of your session. Two, it prevents you from getting injured. But right now, right, get this, get this. Right, we're in Dan's video. Dan, what do you think about mobility? Oh, I'm, in, I'm in the disability. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. <laughs> you don't like it. So anyway, we're going to get the a little bit of mobility. We've got my resistant bands. So yeah, this guy's on one. Look at him. <laughs> You've been following my social media for a long time. You know that for the last year, one of the things that put me on training is bad shoulders. And these bad boys travel with me everywhere I go. So that way, if the gym doesn't have any bands, I can get some stretches. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know what this guy's doing. Look at him. He's, he's, he's on another one. So today's session, we're going to be following kind of Danny's routine. Oh. So we're going to be working, they like two working sets. Yeah. So we're going to be doing like our warm ups. It's going to be like fucking heavy. But we're going to be doing like three, four reps. And then we're going to take everything out all on one or two working sets instead of doing three to four working sets, which is kind of what I tend to follow. So this is possibly the last warm up. Let's we'll see how we feel. Feel good. So yeah, I think we'll do one more warm-up. I'm gonna to try to go heavier. We'll do one more warm-up, maybe just two reps, and then we'll rest and then take out from there.
Facebook session today. It's the max session, bro. It's mine. Yeah. High intensity, low volume, every set to as close to failure, if not failure, as possible. We've just started with the mag bar pull down to target the upper back of the lats. Next movement, we're gonna do a T bar row. We like using these special grips, right? So it's like a bent over row sort of hybrid. Really, really nice. Uh, and this is working more of the one way to the trap area, and it's also allowing us to load our lower back for that thickness as well. So it's very important for George and I to be thick all the way from our traps to our glutes. So when we hit our back shots on stage, everyone else goes home sad. You understand? That's the plan. It's the plan. So there, we've got to do the heavy shit to kind of achieve that look. So that's what we're going to do now. I don't usually, I've already done like a lower back loading exercise earlier in the week. I've already done the, the closer grip T-bar rows. Feeling pretty good today, um, which is good because Dan fucking wanted to do these. Yeah. Um, so I'm not going to take the mickey. I'm just going to go down to four plates, do a back offset, and then uh, just get clean of reps. There we go. Let's go. Why not? <laughs> Come on, mate. Stop playing games. Come on. Stop messing about. Yeah. Come on, mate. What you got? Easy, George. Come on. Yes. Easy. At least 10. Come on, pull it. Four. Let's go. Pump them out. Five. Easy. Let's go. Six. Let's go. Seven. Let's go. Eight. Come on. And again. Nine. And again. Don't touch it. He's fine. He's fine. Pull it. And again. And again. Yes, fucking awesome. Jeez. So Alright guys, so random movement. I've never actually done this variation of kind of a, a pull down before. Usually I stick to this machine. I've got fairly strong on it. Now with this, you've got handles that move around. So this is a bit of a, of a surprise for me. I did not feel that strong on this whatsoever. But then again, you know, if you're doing something, an exercise you've never done before, you know, generally this is looking bad. Oh, I don't like this exercise, I don't feel it works. Most of the time, an exercise won't work because we've not tried it, we've not learned how to the perfectly execute it, you know? So, again, obviously, after you've been training for a prolonged period of time, you will find exercises that do work for you. But if you're a newbie to the gym, obviously, a lot of exercises, a lot of times, because they're going to be new to you, you're going to feel a bit weird, and that's why you feel like they don't work. So, with this brand new movement, not going very heavy with it at all. Um, I'm literally just trying to get as much as I can out of it, perfectly execute. So, we're going to come here. Pull down the elbow. We go here. So I'm trying to get a full stretch. Through here, I'm going to pull down the elbow. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep that chest up. You're going to get it right up here. All the way from kind of the, the top to the middle. That is exactly what I'm feeling it. Right there.
session. Usually, usually at the moment, fucking talking shit again. Um, usually I kind of do back with shoulders. Yesterday I did not do any arms, um, so what we're going to try to do today. The session has been a little bit off plan, has been quite different. Since I didn't manage to get in the amount of volume I wanted out of arms yesterday, in fact, to be honest, I didn't really do anything for arms yesterday. Uh, it was not the greatest session. So what we're doing, we're supersetting um, pull-ups, the tricep push-downs. I'm going to incorporate another tricep exercise after this, supersetting with a bicep um, exercise after that. So, yeah. If I didn't fall right down on my face Looking everywhere only to find That it's not the way I had imagined it all in my mind Do I have a negativity? Cause I can't justify the way everyone is looking at me Nothing to gain, hollow and alone And the fault is my own, and the fault is my own session <laughs> and uh well oh yeah we've been some triceps uh so post workout meal standard actually me and danny have the same thing i've got 100 grams cocoa pops right there and i didn't bring my own protein shake so we've got just um iso whey here so we this is how we do it this is how i do it there we go um realistically I don't think most people really need to work, uh, uh, be concerned about their post-workout nutrition. For me personally, I, it just eating straight after training, just it's quick and easy. First of all, I, I freaking love cocoa pops. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. There is something wrong with you. <laughs> um, it's a, a quick way of getting carbs. There's about 80 gra 83 grams of carbs in here and 25 grams of protein, so it's just easy and allows me more more time to eat. So if I eat now. Uh, a quick meal to get now, so with the serum and protein, then it's easier for me to eat later on. With me getting a, a kind of a big meal now, or eat in an hour or two hours time, where then I'd have wasted so much time, you know? So, and I get, to be honest, after the big session, my appetite is pretty damn big anyway. Um, so yeah, we're about to smash this now. It's a wrap for today's training, and then we're gonna head over to Fit Studios, because I've got some clients for the evening who are gonna get beasted. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the session.